The girls go ground hopping at the Virador Community Stadium in Runcorn. Entry is £6. The kids were free and you can pay cash or card. The match day programme was £2. Kickoff today was 3 pm. And the game was between Runcorn Town and Bake Up Borough in the Northwest Counties Division 1. A cup of tea was £1.50 and the chips were £2. There is a clubhouse and cafe on site and you can pay cash or card. The attendance today was 133. Runcorn got themselves a deserved 1-0 win and we picked up a pin badge for £3. That's quite interesting, isn't it, to actually um, look at this overview of uh, what a day normally football looks like on a Saturday afternoon. Um, you know, and you can also see where he was, um, you know, detailing what they all had, you know, how much it cost and, you know, the programmes, the chips, the tea. It all adds up in cost, doesn't it? And, yeah, to think you're actually going to go and watch um, some non-league football, which what you'd probably think is uh, probably quite cheap. It does uh, soon add up once you start buying all these different things, but you know, you do it for the love of the game. And clearly, obviously, this uh, man wants to go and support uh, his local side with his, uh, his two children. And yeah, there's nothing sweeter than that. The girls go ground hopping at the Bartons Group Stadium in Ashton. Entry was £6 and you can pay by cash or card. Kickoff was at 3 p.m. The game was between Ashton Town and South Liverpool FC in one of the Northwest Counties playoff finals. There is a bar and separate cafe on site and you can pay cash or card. A cup of tea was £1.75 and the chips were £3. A pin badge was £4. Today's attendance was 1,088. After a 0-0 draw, South Liverpool won 3-1 on penalties. And where would you like to see the girls go ground hopping? It's great as well that you can get this far of our daughter bond. Um, you know, and establish that real connection with your children simply by just going and watching the football. And obviously, you know, that it's, football is not for everybody. So I, I'm, I'm sure the dad is uh, most certainly glad that he's actually been able to find common interest and uh, being able to actually get his, uh, his, his daughters into uh, football, which is really positive. And obviously the, the girls seem to enjoy it as well because, you know, the, what, what, you know, the youngest ground poppers um, in the world and yeah they're going to like to go and see different grounds and watch different football matches and for this one here in particular you know the fact that it's a, it's a you know not too not many teams and it's a playoff final so it's a big game and uh, that they've got a, quite a strong attendance for money you know getting over a thousand people to go and watch you on a Saturday afternoon isn't bad going at all I must say um, so yeah I'm sure this dad will be looking to go to many other grounds and uh, literally live the beautiful game uh, alongside his two daughters.